February, a month dedicated to raising awareness about teen dating violence. Local high schoolers and the Council on Domestic Abuse are speaking out. All in hopes of helping their peers notice the warning signs in case a friend or themselves become a victim. News 10's Melissa Crash explains. <laughs> More than one in every 10 Indiana teenagers experiences dating violence, a statistic that CODA education specialist Rebecca Moore says needs to change. They're not alone. If they're in these situations, there's someone they can talk to. Moore teaches students about physical, verbal, emotional, and sexual abuse, four very different types that could lead to a cycle of violence. If they don't have anybody in their life, they have someone here. High school freshman Megan Reed feels that it's her responsibility to speak up. Because you'll probably see it at least once in your life, so you know what to do, and you can like tell them and just be there for them. Abusive relationships are happening, and that abuse is leading teens to depression, and in some cases, considering suicide. Nude pictures and stuff like that, and that still does have to do with violence, because, I mean, even though you're sending it, you don't want the whole school to know. James Moore is a recent high school graduate. He wants to teach teens like himself that technology can be very harmful. Hey, don't do dumb things. Don't show dumb things. Don't say dumb things online because somebody will find out. CODA wants to make parents aware of the warning signs. If you see a slight change, talk to them. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Is everything okay today? And the dangers facing their teens before it's too late. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Melissa Crash, News 10. On the first Thursday of every month, the CODA Youth Council meets at the Vigo County Public Library. That meeting is happening right now. But if you'd like to attend the next one, information is on our website, WTHITV.com.